Hi, I'm Sophie Forsman and I am a junior at the University of Oregon. Hi, I'm Anna Lake and I'm a senior at the University of Oregon. And my name is Bridget Snyder. I'm also a junior at the University of Oregon and for our study site for this research project, we were looking at Midcove. This research project is in collaboration with the Dimes Network and headed by Dr. Aaron Galloway. In Cape Arago State Park, the spring 2021 Marine Ecology class went to South Cove to do the data collection for this project. The South Cove Rocky Intertidal Zone by Drake Point was separated into six sections to be sampled by groups over the course of two weeks. The sections defined were Inner South Cove, Middle South Cove, East Drake Point, Outer Drake Point, West Drake Point, and the subtital. Our group was assigned to sample Middle South Cove using a methodology that was curated to fit the terrain in the study area. Middle Cove is a rectangular shaped site that is approximately 2,575 square meters. In order to sample the entire site haphazardly, we created five transect lines split evenly throughout the area. Each transect line was followed twice to get a total of 10 lines with 10 photos each for a total of 100 photos. We used a compass to follow a heading of 110 degrees north and 180 degrees south depending on which direction we started from. The first transect started in the southeast corner of the site and we used a predetermined set of randomly generated numbers between 0 and 6 meters to know where to drop the quadrat along the transect. We dropped the quadrat evenly around the center of the point, took a photograph, and measured out the next distance from that center point. Due to sun glare on the water, we oftentimes had to hold an umbrella and a dark colored jacket above the camera to get a higher quality photo. Additionally, in areas where surf grass was present, we took two photos, one with the surf grass untouched and another with the surf grass pushed backwards to reveal what was underneath. Along with the photographs, metadata of the specific photo site was taken, which included a unique photo ID number, coordinates, tidal height, tidal zone, weather conditions, and other pertinent information to aid in creating a comprehensive reference for this study site. After finishing this data collection, each student in the class took the data set and created a research project to study specific aspects of the data, make a scientific poster, and present their findings at the end of the term. This was a great example of how you can use the data, which was collected in many different ways by many different people for various independent studies. We succeeded in creating a more universal resource, which can now be used by the Dimes Network. Middle Cove was a very interesting study site for many reasons, but these five reasons stood out to us the most. Number one, we saw many fascinating organisms like gumboot chitons, large acorn barnacles, nemridians, and sea cucumbers. Number two, the site is highly diverse with many microhabitats and organisms present. For example, zones three and four, which are closer to the low tide, hosted many species of macroalgae and phylums of invertebrates, while the higher up zones one and two contained more barnacles and coral and algae. Number three, we were able to make qualitative observations about this site and the specific organisms we were studying during sampling and see if the things we observed were also supported by the quantitative analysis. Number four, we were better able to understand the strengths and shortcomings that are involved with various methods of intertidal sampling that we learned about throughout this course once we physically tried them. And finally, number five, there were many unexpected problems that arose throughout our sampling process, especially with the tide coming in faster than we were able to sample. To address this situation, we began sampling before the tide was at its lowest so we could efficiently gather data from these lower tidal zones before the water started obstructing our data collection. In concluding this project, these are um, our favorite things that we came across during our work. For me, the large amount of gumpu chitons that we found in so many places in our zone that we were working in was something that was I, I have never seen before and it was really interesting. My favorite thing about working in Middle Cove was seeing how many Pisasters and other sea stars were present only a few years after the sea star wasting disease took out so many along the Pacific coast. And for me, I was really fascinated by the presence of all the sea anemones in Middle Cove. There are so many different species varying in sizes and shape and even coloration with their pigmentation, which was great to see. Um, and to finish off this video, we just really wanted to thank our professor, Dr. Aaron Galloway, um, our GTF, Kendall Smith, um, for heading this project and helping us along the way. And also a huge thank you to our fellow classmates in the Marine Ecology course. Couldn't have done it without you.